Good morning, good evening, good day, or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Hi, how are you? So today, tonight, it's night time for me, I am going to, I thought I would get unready with you guys, <laughs> which is just the opposite of a get ready with me. It is a, you guys watch me get rid of what's on my face and become more you know, fresh faced, no makeup on, and I just talk to you guys about anything and everything. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. But before we get into that, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the little bell icon to get a notification every time a video uploads. Alright, let's get started. I gotta start with removing my makeup. And I'm using the Garnier Skincare Water Rose my cellar cleansing water with rose and glycerin. It's an all-in-one hydrating. It removes makeup, cleanses, and hydrates. No rinse, no harsh scrubbing, no alcohol, oils, or fragrance, and it's a vegan formula for all skin types, even sensitive. That is what this whole thing says. I find it's a great drugstore target dupe for the Bioderma sensitive makeup remover, and I love that one, so. Just gonna start by lightly rubbing my skin. I know it said no rubbing, but I don't think pressing into the skin works. I always leave my eyes for last, and I think it's because my eye makeup is what usually takes me the longest, so I want it to last the longest. I tend to be the most interested in my eye makeup look. Today's been a bit of a long day. I filmed, this will be my third video that I'm filming just today. Um, I edited two today and I started one that's going to be a month long for me to film <laughs> today. So ugh, it has been a long day, but you know what, there isn't really much else for me to do this giant heat wave I don't want to leave the house at all unless there's a pool or air conditioning <laughs> we don't have air conditioning we don't have a pool we are boiling alive here it's been a bit of a long day I had two ColourPop shimmer shadows pop out of two of some of my favorite ColourPop makeup when I tried to show it to you guys on camera and one of them broke and it was my newest palette. Got so much glitter all over my face. So I'm gonna have to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in it and then press it together. And hopefully it'll stay like that. The problem with certain ColourPop shadows is they get so soft and that's part of why people love them so much and I love them too they're so soft but because they're so soft they are so easily breakable <laughs> and you know when it's one of my favorite shades in the palette it, it it really sucks I've gotten into bullet journaling recently in a non bullet journal <laughs> and honestly I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it a lot. I always tried to keep a diary when I was younger and I had a really hard time keeping up with it. And sometimes I write in it when I'm especially low and I don't have anyone to talk to about things, but hard time keeping up with it because I have so much other stuff that occupies my brain. I think that is all of the makeup oh, removed and hopefully all of the glitter. Oh, so much glitter today. I just wet my face with some lukewarm water and I'm going to go into my Tolerant. Why, why is French hard for me today? Tolerant Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. <sighs> so, uh, my boyfriend and I, our two year anniversary is coming up this month and it is the day after his birthday <sighs> and I love him so much he's really wonderful but boy does it really put a lot of pressure on me because I have to 
not only get him a birthday present, the next day I have to give him a two year anniversary gift. I'm constantly worried, you know, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I worry that the gift that I got him isn't enough, or he won't like it, or even if he says he likes it, he does, and that's just the little anxiety monster in my brain. But, so hopefully he likes what I got him. I can't tell you guys what I got him for his birthday in our two year, because sometimes he watches my videos and I don't want to spoil anything, because I'm very big on surprises. So... <laughs> I'll just have to let you know after the 27th of this month. I'm going to go wash my face. I will be back. Okay, I just rinsed the face wash off and got some ice cubes, which I'll explain in a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, I still have glitter on my face. It's going to be there for like a week now. Okay, so after I wash my face, Sometimes I will take ice cubes, oh yes, and rub them along my face. You don't have to do this, but I find that it really helps close the pores, clears the skin, awakens me. Ugh. All in all, it's nice. Oh, a little bit over the eyelids, yes, under, chin, mm, yes. Oh. Gonna dry my face a little bit. Be right back. A giant moth flew into my room, attracted by the lights, scared the crap out of me. I screamed and left and had to get my stepdad to take it out. I'm very scared of... I'm sorry, it's very hot. I have to use this. I am very scared of bugs. And in my uh, hysteria and fear, I got very hot. Someone put more ice on my face. I'm sorry, it's really hot. I have to do this. I have to. Oh, yes. Thank you. Then you take the fan and just... Oh, yes. It's like air conditioning almost. Now that my face is dry and I have calmed down, I am going into going to use my Versed Hydration Station Booster Serum. It has hyaluronic acid in it. One, two, three. So I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I think almost all of my videos, I have had a bandage or a covering over my ring finger on my left hand for a long time. <sighs> and it's still there. <laughs> and I don't want to get into any gory details in case you guys are sensitive to things like that. I want to be a doctor, uh, so I'm not, but I will censor the gory details. So basically, long story short, I got an infection in the nail bed of this finger somehow. I don't know how. There was no cut for it to get in there. Anyways, I was on antibiotics for a while. And they got the infection out. It's a staph infection, which is a lot of infections are deadly, so <laughs> but it's one of the more serious ones. When people hear that you have a staph infection, they usually get very worried for you. <laughs> but it's okay now. It's healing, it's on the mend. Yeah, I don't know how long it'll have to be in a band-aid thing for, but believe me, when it's out, we will celebrate. Mm. I notice in my videos when I watch how I put stuff on my face, it looks rougher than it feels. This doesn't feel rough at all. This feels soft and smooth and like I'm not even, like I'm barely touching myself. But when I watch back and edit my clips and I watch it, I'm like, wow, I'm being so rough, aren't I? Do I? Am I just really rough with my skin and I don't really understand how to be gentle? I don't know. I'm now, oh gosh, I didn't even tell you what I used. I used the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion on my face. And now I'm going into the, Ke I went and used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Now the last step is my creamy eye treatment from Kiehl's as well. It's got avocado.
I put it up here too because up there it gets very dry and cracky all the time. Does anyone else have a headache? Ugh, I've been filming and editing all day. I have such a headache. Maybe it's from looking at screens for too long. All right, now last but certainly not least is lip balm. Using my Kind Lips Georgia Peach Lip Balm. I always like putting on lip balm right after I do my skincare routine. Or every 15 minutes, honestly, my lips get so chapped. And I drink a lot of water. <laughs> so that is it, folks. That is getting unready with me and watching my skincare routine. It's so hot. I feel like a roasted chicken. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope I entertained you. <laughs> and I hope you all have just a wonderful day or time or whatever, whatever time of day it is for you. I just hope it's wonderful. All right. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.